Hello, my name is Sans Ritchie. I'm the Territory Sales Manager for Amprobe. I've been working in the field of test and measurement for 26 years. Here we have the Amprobe AM270. This is a commercial industrial meter for both electrical and HVAC applications. And it includes a safety rating of Category 4 and Category 3. The Category 3 is for indoor industrial work and the Category 4 is for the utility side of the power. So this has one of the highest safety ratings available for instruments. It has a complete range of functions. We have uh, volts AC, which I'm on right now, just feeding in a 110 line. We have volts DC, it has millivolts, temperature, capacitance, ohms, milliamps, and it actually goes down into microamps. So you can use this for very sensitive measurements, such as flame rod testing. Some of the other capabilities that this meter has is we have a min-max function. That's very handy if you want to see if your voltage or your currents are varying over time. You can hook it up, hit the min-max key, go have a cup of coffee, come back and see if you had any voltage surges or voltage drops. The crest function is nice because here, while we have 119 volts, we're really only reading the RMS value. If I hit the crest, it then goes, now it can measure the peak value, which would be around 166 volts. So by having these two measurements, we can quickly tell if we have a fair amount of distortion in the line. And here, by hitting the crest factor again, now I'm measuring both from the negative peak, which is 166 volts, to the positive peak, which is 166 volts. Negative to positive is actually 335 volts. So while you think you're measuring only 120 volts on the signal coming out of your outlet, it actually peaks at 166 volts, and the peak-to-peak -peak voltage is 335. So if you're, you really want to have a nice safety rating or a very good safety rating on your meter, because what you think is only 120 could be as high as 300. So when we go to 480 volts, we're only looking at 480 volts RMS. The peak is going to be up around 600, 660 volts. So that's why it's important to have a fully Category 3 and Category 4 rated meter all the way up to 1,000 volts. In addition to that, we can also measure frequency. So if I hit the frequency key, now I'm measuring the 60 hertz or 59.99 hertz. We also have a relative function on this meter. What that's handy for is, let's say you want to measure, see if there's a voltage drop between the source of your power and where you have it plugged in or your load. I can go to the power source, measure the voltage there, hit the delta function, go out to where my load is, and if I read minus 10 volts, then I know I have a voltage drop of 10 volts between my source and the load. This could be an indication that you have some loose connections, maybe you have too long a cable run, or you have an undersized wire that's just dropping too much voltage and it's, it's used in a circuit that's using more current than the wire is rated for. In addition, we have the inputs, we have the common input, the voltage input, this is where you would measure your temperature, ohms and volts. We have a milliamp and microamp input and then an amp input. There's also a hold function and there's also a kind of a bar graph magnifier. If I put this back into just regular voltage, we can see we have 121 volts. What the bar graph does is now by hitting that, I now have a needle that's going to be jumping back and forth. So if you're an old buzzard like me and these digital displays kind of moving around, a lot of us like to go back and just see a regular bar graph that's showing us an indication of how high the value is. This button right here goes from where we have kind of like it fills in with water as we get higher values. If we want to see if something's changing, it's much easier to hit this button and then we have a single point and as this voltage changed, this point's going to go back and forth exactly like the needle on your old trusted analog multimeter. This meter features a backlight, so we can turn that on if we're in a closet or down in a manhole or something like that. We can brighten up the display so we'll be able to read it a lot easier in dark areas. For more information, please contact your T-Equipment Test and Measurement Specialist.